Welcome to Learn and Draw. I am Anup Desai, working as lecturer. In this video, we learn to draw example six of orthographic projection using the Solid Edge software. For more videos on Solid Edge software, subscribe to my channel Learn and Draw. Now let's read the question. Draw the three principal views of the component as shown in the figure. So you can see this is the machine component so this is our front view so top side this is the top view and this is the right view so since in the figure they have given the right view we have to draw that on the left profile plane okay so first we have to draw the front view next below that top view and then the right view to be drawn on the left profile plane in the first angle projection method okay so let's start drawing. So when we start drawing the isometric projection in the solid edge software, among these options, so we have to select drawing, a window appears like this. And bottom of this, so we have to select right click on this sheet 1, go to sheet setup. So here change it to A4 sheet, unclick show background and click OK and here select fit. So in this page, so let's draw the example 6. So on the right side, you can see this is the question. Now this is the front view of the machine component. This is the top view and this is the side view. Okay, that is the right view. So since they have given the right view, so in the first angle projection method, so we have to draw the right view on the left profile plane. Okay, so let's first draw the front view. Okay, so for that select the line option. So among these select the normal line. Okay, so then draw a line here like this. So this is the axis line. So name this as x y so since we are drawing the first angle projection method vp and hp right so next let's now draw the front view so you can see so this is the front view of the object so what are the points that are seen so this l shaped thing and also at the bottom this much part so these are the parts that are seen from the front view okay so let's start from the bottom that is length of 25 and height of 40 and then draw a line up to 80 mm and then this l shaped object okay so let's draw this so select the line option so from here we'll go to visible line okay so first let's draw this bottom line that has the length of 25 mm so we'll type here 25 Okay, so we've drawn this one. Next, what will be this height? So as you can see from the uh, other side, so the height here it is given as 40 mm. So we'll type here 40, press enter. Okay, so next we'll join up to this point. Okay, so next what are the things that are given? So from this point to this end, the length is 80 okay so select the line again so from the end draw a line up to the length of 80 okay so next uh, next is so this height so total height is 25 minus this 10 so this height will be equal to 15 so we'll type here 15 and press enter okay so next this length so it is given to be as 10 so we'll type it 10 and press enter next the last part the length is 25 so here we'll type 25 next join to the end here okay so this is the front view of this machine component okay next is uh, let's draw the top view okay so to draw the top view so we have to draw the projection lines from the front view okay so 
so for that we'll go to the line option again so here we'll select normal line right so next from here we'll select some convenient length like this okay so then draw the projection lines at all the point from all the points okay so like this so now after drawing the projection lines now let's draw the top view okay so let's see this object what are the points that are seen from the top view so you can see this l shaped object this is seen in the top view okay so then this part which is at the left hand side so this is seen next this line 25 mm at the bottom so this is not seen but it is present so we have to draw this uh, 25 mm line in the dotted lines so these are the things that we have to draw in the top view okay so for that select the line option here next go to visible okay so next let's draw this uh, l shaped object so first from here let's start here draw a line up to this point okay so this is 80 mm next what will be this length so it is given at the bottom 45 mm so type 45 and press enter so next it is joined up to this point that is 25 mm so then uh, draw this up to this point okay so next this length so what will be the length of this so this will be total length it is 45 and from here to here it is 25 so 45 minus 25 so we get it as 20 so type 20 and press enter okay so next join up to this point okay join up to this point so one part is completed next let's draw this uh, other part here okay so you can see here this rectangle at the side so on the uh, left hand side so it has the length of 10 and it has the height of uh, 15 mm okay so let's draw this one select again the line option so from this end length is 10 okay so height is 15 okay so next join to this one so now the left side part is completed next the last one that we have to draw is this uh, hidden lines okay because for when we see this object from the top view the bottom part is will be not seen okay so what we have to do is let's draw this one in the dotted lines okay so for that here we have to go to hidden lines right so next the length of this object is 10 so from here we'll draw a line of 10 mm okay so next join to this point so now this completes the top view of this machine component the last one left is we have to draw the right view okay so to draw the right view as we know in the first angle projection method right view is seen on the left profile plane so let's draw the left profile plane select the line option here go to normal line so here somewhere so we'll draw a line now this is the right profile plane okay so now here we'll type it as x1 y1 sorry uh, left profile plan lpp okay so next we'll also draw the 45 degree line So now you can see we have drawn the left profile plane. Now to draw the right view, so we have to take the projection lines from both the front view as well as from the top view. Okay. So let's take the projection lines for that select the line option again. Next from here from the front view, let's draw the uh, projection lines from each of the points.
okay so next let's draw the projection lines from the top view that is select the uh, again select the line option so from here draw a straight line which will cut the 45 degree line and project it upwards next similarly the second point draw a line which will cut the 45 degree line and then project it upwards next the third point th uh, which will cut the 45 degree line and project it upwards next last the last line and project it upwards now we have drawn all the projection lines next let's rub the uh, extra line select the trim option so here we'll trim these extra lines so now over these lines so we have to draw the right view okay so let's see the question so this is the uh, right view okay so in the right view the object is seen in the l shape here like this okay so next uh, this much portion is also seen in the uh, right view so this l shape and this part so we have to draw both these parts in the right view okay so select the line option so from here let's select visible line okay so here let's start it from this end so then darken these lines okay so here you can see this is the last point here okay so select the line here up to this point next join up to here see so now we have completed drawing the l shape okay so next one is we have to draw this top part as you can see the top part now this uh, top part is a rectangle of length of 15 and height is 25 minus 10 that is 15 so this length is 15 and height is 15 both are 15 so this should be drawn here okay so let's darken this select the line again so from here draw a line up to this point so draw a line up to this point so join here okay so now the almost the left view is completed so only part that is left in the left view is so these lines as you can see are not visible from the right view but they are present okay so we have to show those hidden lines so for that here so let's uh, trim these lines and then select the line option so go to hidden line next from here so we'll draw this hidden line and from here so we'll draw this hidden line so now this completes the right view of the machine component okay so the last part is we have to name this okay that is name this then we have to do the dimension and then give the direction so now i have typed front top and side views next let's name the dimensions so go to smart dimensions now we have named all the dimensions okay so next is we have to give the directions okay so to give the directions so if you have to go to call out option click on ok then give the directions from the front to the top view next give the directions from the front view to the side view and top view to the side view So after naming the views, dimensions and giving the directions, this completes the example 6 of orthographic projections. For more videos on solid edge, subscribe to my channel, learn and draw.